Hello friends, Jason Lanier here. I wanted to film a quick video on something that was brought to my attention that you may run into in the course of your photography career. And if you don't, consider yourself uh, lucky. And if you do, you're probably doing something right. And here's a few of my thoughts on what you can do when someone steals your images. We live in a digital world where the theft of images is very easy to do. It's happened to me many, many times over the years. And typically it's by other photographers trying to build their portfolios and so on and so forth. But once in a while there are companies that are silly enough, that are unwise enough, AKA just dumb enough, to steal images and use them to promote their product. In this particular instance, I'm talking about a company called Rory Lights. No, not Rotolite, Rory, R-O-R-Y. This Rory Lights has sponsored posts, which means they've paid to use images from my shoot that I did three years ago with Rotolite. Uh, with Cassandra under the, the pier in Huntington Beach. I did it with the Rotolite EOS and they are now using those images and I'll post them here. One is an image of Cassandra and originally it says with flash and without flash, that's what it says on my video. Now it says no light with Rory. <laughs> no, Rory you weren't there. On top of that, um, they post a picture of me shooting it. I mean to, to use a shot of me um, and on top of my camera, which is hilarious, is the Elenchrome transmitter, the Skyport transmitter. And I guess they're trying to pretend that the transmitter on top of my camera is the light that was utilized to illuminate the model Cassandra. And have you seen the size of that Rory light? There's no way that light could illuminate Cassandra under the pier. <laughs> it just blows my mind that people would be silly enough to think that this would pass off as something credible. So. Key takeaways from this, when somebody steals your work, you should, you should contact photo stealers, they should be named and shamed, especially shouldn't be stolen to try and earn business for marketing purposes, which is what this company is doing. Um, the second thing you should do is, uh, you know, if it's, if you can prove damages, you can pursue litigation, which would be interesting for me because man, this would be a hell of a year for me and uh, starting lawsuits with people who are just doing me dirty. The funny thing is they stole shots from work that was included on the cover of the British Photography Magazine. I mean, of all the shots to take, guys. So, <laughs> and I'm kind of recognizable, so including a shot of me isn't too bright either. By the way, guys, this isn't just about giving proper photo credit. You give proper photo credit when you repost somebody's shot, when you ask if you can say, hey, look, this is a cool shot that somebody else took. Can I repost it? No, this is a company using somebody's images for their own financial gain, which you are not allowed to do without permission. In a world where images are everywhere, everybody's taking shots, I think it's gonna become an even bigger problem and people are gonna be sharing images without permission. People are gonna be using images for their own gain from a financial, from a, a social media, from a publicity, whatever its standpoint. And I think we as a photography community have to try to figure out ways to protect our shots and protect our work. One way of doing that is what I'm doing right now. We have to notify them and ask them to remove the shots. One thing that's really shameless about these companies doing it is they get away with it as long as they can until they're caught. Meanwhile, they're selling products. They're selling products using our images. And that is wrong. It's just flat out wrong. You know, there's, there's services like Digimark and others where you can where you can put like a digital watermark inside of your image, but that doesn't do anything when people are just stealing screenshots. It really doesn't because you can screenshot, right click, whatever images, and there's no metadata included in those images when you're just screenshotting stuff, which I'm sure this company did. Your only other recourse is to do what I'm doing, naming and shaming, and if you can prove damages, you go after them. That's it. And there are so many photographers out there who are hungry to test and try out and shoot with your products. Um, do the right thing and pay them for their shots. Do the right thing. It's ridiculous to assume you can take somebody's work, make money off it, and not compensate them in any way. It's, it's wrong. And just joining together in the photography community, whether or not you love me or any other photographer that it happens to, we should join together and boycott companies that do this. It's so blatant and so wrong and they're so brash in how they do it. I can't believe they think people aren't going to catch it. So tell us your stories. Tell us what's happened to you. Uh, I just try to share the experiences that happened to me so hopefully they can benefit you out there. Don't steal people's work. That is a cardinal rule in the world of photography. At any rate, I hope this is up, guys. Until next time, keep shooting, never give up on your dreams. Find out what works for you. 
and hopefully the gear company doesn't steal your images. And remember, you only have one chance to get it right. I'll talk to you guys later. Bye.